Sunday morning, 7.35 a.m. Eastern Time. I got up early Friday morning and flew Colorado Springs to Atlanta, Georgia, to Akron, Ohio. Purchased this at Sarshone Ford, Randolph, Ohio. Driving our new 2015 Ford 350 XLT. It's got the twin turbo six cylinder. I just stopped for gas and to go to the bathroom in Huber Heights, Ohio. I saw a Tim Hortons and a Bob Evans, both of which are not located in Colorado, so I stopped in at Tim Horton for some breakfast, a drink, and some snacks for later. I just exchanged text messages with my father-in-law. He informed me that this town here, Huber Heights, I believe it's pronounced, has the largest collection of brick homes anywhere in the country. Just crossed over into Indiana, picked up the van Friday afternoon, then I drove about 140 miles east on I-80 out near Dubois, not Dubois, but Dubois, Pennsylvania, to the town of Reynoldsville to visit my dad and his wife, Mona Lou. They've been having a real rough time lately. My dad is in his mid-70s, Mona Lou is up in her 80s and she got a myriad of physical problems um, right now she's struggling with possibility of losing three toes on her left foot due to um, lack of circulation uh, it's been compounded with her diabetes and she has three toes that are falling off so just a, a sad situation um, I was able to pray with them this morning before we left and uh, it was heartbreaking to see it and to see her going through that. Centerville, Ohio, check this out. The Warm Glow Candle Outlet. I believe that my wife used to have a few candles from this place. So I'm going to stop here because they're advertising the cleanest restrooms on Interstate 70. That is a seriously big candle. Sign said the cleanest restrooms on I-70 and they did not disappoint. I picked up some flowers for my wife. Time to hit the road.
Mississippi River. I've done the Pennsylvania to Colorado and Colorado to Pennsylvania Drive probably six, seven times at least. And this is hands down the best I have ever felt. I'm gonna keep going. Kansas City. I drove about 940, 950 miles. And I just got seven hours sleep here in Lawrence, Kansas. So it's called the Virginia Inn, and it's near KU in Lawrence, Kansas. Very well taken care of, extremely nice. My wife found this place for only around $55 a night for king size suite, refrigerator, everything. Just a great place, a wonderful staff. And the Virginia Inn had free breakfast. This should say it all, 1,372 miles in a day and a half. I've gone 450 miles already today, and I just crossed back into Colorado. And because there always has to be an issue, the second I crossed in to Mountain Time Zone, an 18-wheeler kicked a rock up and put a nice crack in the passenger side of the windshield. Back in Colorado Springs, and my goodness, those mountains are a welcome sight. I've only been gone for three and a half days, but in that time, I flew Colorado Springs to Atlanta, Georgia, to Akron, Ohio, purchased this van in Randolph, Ohio, drove it about 140 miles east on I-80 to the Reynoldsville Dubois area and then drove 1,528 1,528 miles back across I-70 into Colorado. Next stop, the glass shop. Windshield crack repair, now I can go home. So that is a quick, but not exhaustive, video on the purchase of our brand new Ford, 2015 Ford Transit 350 XLT van. 8,000 miles on this thing. 
only two years old. We got it with a 75,000 mile drivetrain and comprehensive bumper to bumper warranty. So that is great news. Just got the Suburban back from the shop. Several thousand dollars in borrowed money to fix that. Soon I'll be starting to uh, detail that vehicle so we can sell it outright. Pay off the loan. So God willing we should be able to pay that off and have a little bit more left. Um, so the Suburban is running great. It's just parked here. My in-laws lent us their 1993 Toyota Land Cruiser a couple of weeks ago so we could have reliable transportation for one person that needs to commute somewhere. So we've been using that off and on. Um, the car, our car, our 2000 Nissan Maxima, which was our everyday one person commuter, my hunting vehicle, etc. Tons of problems with that thing, um, but most of them are easy to fix. Nothing crazy, no crazy electrical systems. So I've been fixing them one by one on my own. Um, praise God, huge blessing. One of my longtime viewers works at a huge auto um, parts supplier, a Japanese auto parts supplier, and uh, he is going to get me some parts that I need to get the uh, the Maxima um, running better, including ignition coils, spark plugs, and things like that. He's going to get them for me pretty much at cost, if not below cost. So that's a huge blessing. I want to thank God and thank you for that. Um, so that's automobiles. Wow, it's a, it's a nightmare. Um, this video was just thrown together really fast but I wanted to put something up there I haven't been able to upload lately. I filmed a great new cooking video last night, so as soon as I'm able to get the time to edit that, we'll get that uploaded. So many things on the horizon, but obviously limited by time. You know, I, I told somebody today, I told a cashier at Walgreens today, if I only had 48 hours in each day, and there were only, and if there was only a thousand dollars that fell out of the sky into my lap each day, I think everything would be good. And we know that neither of those things are going to happen. So I give God all the glory. You know, we have a huge uh, pit to climb out of when it comes to vehicles here. Uh, it's bad. And um, you know, this is a nice new step here. This vehicle's crazy. We love it. We got a great deal on it. That's why I flew to Ohio. So in the future, I might try to do some videos on the van, you know, the uh, the transit vans. And I'm not talking about those little junky transit connects that you see. I'm talking full-size Ford transit vans. There's three of them, low roof, mid roof, high roof. This is low roof. Um, are new in America. You know, this was the first year, 2015. Uh, they've been sold in Europe for many, many years. They're highly rated. They're up there neck and neck and many times finishing way ahead of the famous Mercedes Sprinter vans. So I'm learning a lot more about this van. Um, I'm certainly not an expert, but I now know a lot more about the transit vans than the average person. So perhaps I'll try to put some interesting videos together in the future telling you about things that I've learned with the van and what we like about it and even a few things you know that we wish they would change but for the most part I really like this van. So I would appreciate it if anybody wanted to head out to my website, RockyMountainMeatHunter.com, buy one of my new decals that I mentioned in my earlier videos. I want to get new t-shirts printed but obviously <laughs> have a car that works or a t-shirt that I can make money to allow me to get a car that works. It's a catch-22. So right now I'm having to go with cars that work. I'd appreciate it though if you guys went out and bought a sticker. Threw some love that way. I've had a couple people buy stickers in the last month. So thank you to you guys. Uh, that's it for now. So thanks for watching everybody. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter, also known as Todd the Griddler, whatever you want to call me, saying praise the Lord.